final game of the evening from Greensboro, North Carolina, as first round action continues in the early going Texas leading Iowa 4 to 2. I'm Mel Proctor along with Dan Bonner. This is a matchup of the eight seated Texas Longhorns and the ninth seated Hawkeyes of Iowa representing the Big Ten, their 12th NCAA appearance in the last 14 years. Iowa in the dark uniforms, Texas in white. And Texas starts playing a 2-3 matchup zone. We'll see an awful lot of that defense this evening. James Moses misses a three-pointer. A.C. Earl rebounds for Iowa. And the Hawkeyes' leading scorer ties it at four. Earl is the man to watch for Iowa, averaging 19 points a game. And on defense, most prolific shot blocker in the history of the Big Ten. Texas strength in their backcourt with B.J. Tyler and Terrence Wrencher, two youngsters. Benford Williams puts up a three-pointer. And Texas will shoot up a lot of three-pointers. Texas likes to press and run. Iowa can get up and down the court themselves. Chris Street with a three-pointer. And Iowa leads seven to four. This should be a fast-paced up and down game. B.J. Tyler buries the three as they trade three-pointers. Texas averages almost 91 points a game. Iowa averages 81 a game. And a steal by Terrence Wrencher. Found away by Street, but he's called for a foul. Texas that time showing a three-quarter court trap. Little one, two, one, one. Street really slapped hard at that ball, and that's probably why he got the foul call. James Winters checks in for Iowa, and you will see a constant stream of substitutes from that Iowa bench. That is part of Tom Davis' system. Texas coach Tom Pender said, when you're facing Tom Davis, you're facing a system. He said he calls it organized confusion. And it's been the same wherever Tom Davis is coached, at Lafayette, Boston College, and Stanford. He's used the same system, a variety of different defenses, and using a lot of players. Tom Pender said you almost had to play zone against Iowa because nobody could remember who their man was. <laughs> Val Barnes brings it across. Moses puts it up. It's tied at nine in the early going, and this is a fast-paced first half so far. Turnover by Texas. Tom Penders obviously doesn't want the turnovers, but those are the kind of aggressive turnovers that his Longhorns are going to make. Here's a little 1-2-2 two, two pressure. Texas will show a lot of different types of presses. Boy, that's a nice move by Smith. <laughs> Kevin Smith pushes it up. And a three-pointer is good by Val Barnes. Iowa not noted for their three-point shooting. They come in only making 98 all year as a team, but they've hit a couple here early. They hit two of their first three. Benford Williams on the drive. Saved by Moses. Kevin Smith has already shown us he can handle the ball in traffic. Barnes for three. Street, who is third in the Big Ten in rebounding, misses the putback, and is taken down by Albert Burdett of Texas. The rebounding is a big concern for Tom Penders. Wrencher with a great pass, but he's surprised Dexter Cambridge with that pass. It's only a great pass if you complete it, Mel. And there's a great pass from Smith to Street for the easy basket. Iowa leads 14-9. Seven points for Chris Street. Burdett misses the baseline jumper. Here come the Hawkeyes. Out of bounds to Iowa. Iowa's one off seven unanswered points. A.C. Earl, who is out, is back in the game. Here's uh, what has happened earlier today. Seton Hall beat LaSalle in our first game. Missouri over West Virginia in a game that took over three hours to complete due to three power outages here at the Greensboro Coliseum. Duke, as expected, winning over Campbell. And the Blue Devils awaiting the winner of this game. Wade Lookingville, number 34, is in the game for Iowa. Tom Pender said you can look over at that scores table almost any time and see two or three Hawkeyes <laughs> waiting to get into the game. Well, the place where Tom Penders thus far has seen two or three Hawkeyes is around the board, both offensively and defensively. Texas not really able to do very much on the backboard. Again, 2-3 zone for Texas. 
The idea would be to push the Hawkeyes to the perimeter, but they've played very well out there so far in this game. Shot clock at five. They get it into Winters. Got to put it up and gets it blocked. That'll be a 45-second shot clock violation. LSU beat BYU. Shaquille O'Neal had 11 block shots in that game for the Tigers. So he was sending some back in Boise. We'll be right back.